All right, so thank you very much. Let's continue with another example. Okay, let's see another example. So, Say that solve the system of equations 2x plus 5y equals 6 whole number 1 over 2, and then 5x minus 2y equals 9. Good. Looking at the first equation, it contains a mixed fraction, and that's why we have done fractions. That means that the first thing for us to do is to remove the mixed fraction to improper fraction. I hope you remember that. We cannot start solving this without doing those basic things, all right? Good. So we have our solution. We can change this one here. 2 by 6 is 12 plus 1 is 13 all over 2. All right? Good. We can see that this one here is having what? A fraction. This is an improper fraction. So for the two here to go, we can simply do what? Multiply through by two, right? Multiply through by two. And that's going to give us if I multiply this by two, that's going to give me 4x. Multiply this by two, that's going to give me what? 10y is equals what? 13 or oh, whole number. Um, the two here will cancel that to this. So that's going to give you 13 whole number, right? Right? Good. Good. So now we have two equations. Our two equations are this. Good. So you see, we have done something to this equation by removing the mixed fraction to become improper first. That is what we have here. Multiply through by 2 in order to remove these two here to give us this. Right? So now we have our two equations. Equation 1, equation 2 becoming this. So this is the equation we have. You now decide which variable do you want it to go. Is it x or is it y? Which of them do you want it to go? Good. We can easily see that this is minus 2y, this is plus 10y. Minus 2y plus 10y. I want us to eliminate the y. Okay, so if you want, want to eliminate y, what do you do? Look at the coefficient here is 10, the coefficient here is 2. What do I do so that this one here should become 10? Because they, they have to have the same coefficient before you can remove them, right? Okay, so this is 10, this is 2. What do I do? I can easily see that 2 is a factor of 10. 2 is a factor of 10. Is that also? 2 can go into 10 how many times? 5. 2 can go into 10 by 5. So I'm going to multiply equation 2 by 5. If I multiply equation 2 by 5, the coefficient will be the same. That's a trick. If somebody has said, okay, I want x to go, the coefficient of x here is 4, that of x here is 5. None of them is a factor of the other. So we we'll just change the coefficient and multiply. That's all. So I would have multiplied equation 1 by 5 and equation 2 by 4. They will give you the same answer, 2020. 20. Is that correct? That is very simple. Very, very simple. So over here, we are saying that 2 and 10. 2 and 10. Now, if you didn't know at all, if you didn't know that 2 is a factor of 10, somebody can say, okay, I'm going to multiply equation 2 by 10 and multiply equation 1 by 2. It's fine. It's the same thing. You get the same answer. But I can see that 2 is a factor of 10. And 2 can go into 10 by 5. And that's what I'm saying. Now, let's multiply it through equation 2 by 5. Okay, good.
equation 1, I've been written that one intact. Equation 2 was multiplying by 2. This is going to give you 10x minus 4y. 10, sorry. This is going to give you 10x minus 10y. Multiply 2 equation 2 by 5. Oh, this is going to give you 25. 25, right? Okay, that's fine. If I multiply this one here by 5, that's going to give me 5 times 5. That's going to give you 25. This one here is 2 times um, 5. That's going to give you minus 10. 5 times now is going to be 45. Is that correct? Right? Okay, that's fine. Thank you very much. Good. Now, let's look at the coefficient here. They are 10, 10. But here is negative, here is plus. So I'm going to add them. So when I add this to that, what am I going to get? I'm going to get 29. When I add this to that, I'm going to get 0. And that's because when I add this to that, that's going to give me what? 58. Is that correct? Is that correct? Okay. Beautiful. So it means that we now have... Oh, that's um, a linear equation in X. Very simple. If you want to find X, we have to do what? Multiply both sides by the multiplicative inverse of what? 29. And that's going to give you x. This will give you 2. This will give you 2, right? Having gotten x equal to 2, you now put x in any of the two equations here to find y. And I can see that. Let's do that in equation 2. So let's say that substitute. Okay, and what is equation 2? So that is equation 2. We are saying that substitute x equals to 2 in equation 2. And that is equation 2. 5x minus 2y is equals to 9. So we put in 2 here. 5 times 2 will give you 10. So 10 minus 2y is equals to 9. We try to group like terms. We have minus 2y. Oh. Minus 2y is equals to 9 minus 10. So these are all y's. That's it. Okay. Okay. Good. We have minus 2y is equal to 9 minus 10. So we have minus 2y is equal to minus, so that is 9, 9 minus 10 will give you minus 1. Then we have 2y is equal to y. You know what we have done here? We just multiply through by what? Negative 1. And that's going to be 2y is equal to 1. Then we take the multiplicative inverse of what? 2, which is half. So now we are going to have y is equal to 1 over 2. Is that right? Is that right? Good. So that is what we get. Very easy. Very easy. Another person could have also decided to eliminate x. And then when we finish, you continue to find the other variable. That is how it is, easily.